Yes, my plan is to get some water and I already get, get the water and come back for Red Stripe there. But due to our focus on this new bike, I never pay attention. I never pay attention to the old bike, you know. So it seems like the, the, the old bike run out of gas, you know. You are fire? Yeah, I yeah. try to start the old bike, the old bike not starting, so I try to put some gas in it and I put one soda bottle of gas in the whole bike. Yeah. But to be honest, the hose will go to the carburetor, it have a burst. So even when we put that one bottle of gas in there, by the time we ride it come to stretch through and park and going back to stretch through. You know, so the gas leak out through the hose and I didn't know. So when we buy the water now and come and put it on the bike and want to start it, the bike cannot start. And we realize that the gas already run out of the bike. So we have to do freelance way. Put the water on my head and walk with it home freelance style and go for the new bike and bring the new bike now to stress free. You can show them, see here. New bike right down there, it's stress free. Pull off the hose from the carburetor, take some gas now from the new bike and put back in the old bike. By putting back the gas in the old bike now, shice the battery run down. So we have to push the bike now up the hill freelance style and then push it back down the hill and jump on, on it and make one freelance start, you know and just turn it back and just ride it straight back now to the house and then me and freelance Simon walk back now to get back the new bike from stress free so that's what I'm gonna do now right over here okay I gotta pick up the new bike more more people no man <laughs> really here? yeah man really thanks bless alright respect thirsty super thirsty so now everything is okay, the back, bike, two bikes back up now, you know, so. That was a challenge. Definitely, in this morning, so now have a freelance carry water, you know. Guys, it really happened, Chucky is now completely homeless. That's where all belongings are stored now, right under the house, yeah. in this plastic sheet. Yeah. Ah, oh, Chucky. Yes, so we homeless now. To be honest, I even have to extend people over by the top house across the road where you people know I have an next house across the road. So I have to be homeless maybe for two or three days, you know, because the people just want to stay around me because they enjoy staying around me and they know I'm a honest guy. So they don't really want to go to nobody else to stay, you know. So where so are you going to sleep tonight? In the hammock yeah. under, under the coconut tree. Serious. I already bring down my sleeping bag and have it in the hammock. Really? Yeah, the sleeping bag is inside here. Yes, I just get some mango from my friend Danny Beaver, you know. Sometimes I give him a little change and he's not in the position right now to give me money back. But he always try to give me mango, pear or whatever he can give me. And I'm grateful for that, you know. I'm here to help out Danny, to be honest, you know, because we grow together, used to hang out together, me, Doggy, Danny, Buster, Mass Up, all away. One love, Rastafari. Bless you. Here's my super sleeping bag, you know. So I was sleeping under this tree, you know, tonight, you know. Under this coconut, coconut tree. Yes. And I know the dog will lie around me. See the, see Charlie. You see it as I talk about Charlie. Charlie. Hello. It's my security. Cause I take good care of them, and them take good care of me. I love dog, you know. Jano and I love Pusto, but my friend Ute, who run the Airbnb in the country in Sifriva, we went there and make a video. And she has so much cat, you know, so much young cat. So she promised me she's gonna drop by and bring one for me because I need one to have around the place. I have one here, you know, but the dog, you know, Bastan, you know, that dog named Bastan, you know, he run away the cat, you know. So the cat freelance, total freelance you now for days, for months. He don't turn back to my home, you know, so I need to replace him with a new cat. So Ute, remember, when you come into Hope Bay, you should bring the cat for me, okay? But now, I'm a little bit thirsty, and I say again, i got to prepare the room because we have more guests will be arriving tonight. Yeah, from where? I think, to be honest, I think it's from Germany again, you know. There's so much German people here right now, you know. Right now, I'm sitting there, and sometimes I think, Chucky, you're in Germany. Because I understand nothing of these people talking all since morning, you know. It's pure German language, you know. And I just sit there and listen. So my place is like Frankfurt. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, man. It looks like it's Frankfurt. It's nicer when you come to Jamaica. 
to rent a hood cabin. If you rent a concrete cabin, it's gonna be super hot. And I don't know if you want to live like you live in Babylon, same way, living in AC and fun, or, or if you want to get the natural wind from the nature. Well, if you want to get the natural wind, you need to stay at freelance Chucky Place because the wind is so strong coming from the river and the sea. Sometimes it wants to blow everything off the table. Yes, to be honest with you. But the real way is to come and experience it on your own, you know. It's not about belief. I said before, believe it's not reality, believe it's benefit of the doubt. So when you come and see it, you can prove it. So you need to check out Freelance Jockey Place when you are in Jamaica at some point to, to get that comfort of relaxation. Okay? One love. So I say, I gotta check out the room now and drink something because I'm super, super thirsty because it's super, super hot day. Okay? No, man. Yes. So, one love. Room. Chuck is bad for tonight. <laughs> Super nice. Michael, look on the water price. This one is water price expensive. What? No, that's that's uh oh the market was four twenty. Is it is what they pay for it? N no, yeah. I don't know, I think so. The guy they bring it from Negril. Four twenty, see. <laughs> Negril is a different world. It's so much for one water. Really? So much for one? Sorry, so then is that the price on it, that? I don't know. Oh, I suppose so. You think so? Yeah. Where the guy that come you ask them? Yeah. Is the German guy put it inside here? Uh, yeah, could be, I don't no, know. But what I'm trying to tell you all the yeah. while, if you pay something in Portland for $100, in Nigeria it's going to be double. <laughs> yeah, that's what he means. Yeah. That's nice. $500 for a beer in Nigeria. No, man. And if you go to Ritz Cafe, they want to sell the one maybe in 10 US. Forest drive. So it's shy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why most people try to stay in Portland. The guy's always cheaper here, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah? I know. You ever hang out in Negro? Me? Yeah. No, I've never been there. Just moved by Kingston. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Money place, you know? Nigga is a tourist hub. Yeah, that's why I stayed away from here. <laughs> <laughs> really? Nigga is a tourist hub, you know? Yeah, that's why I'm But if you're looking for entertainment, girl, cocaine, anything you want, <laughs> Nigga will have everything, you know? <laughs> everything you want. You can get it here, you know? Yeah. Clean the place first. And, and this is where I'm gonna do some maybe graffiti, I don't really know. But you gotta paint it, you know? Yeah, or. Uh, <laughs> The guest from Sweden here, he bought a lot of spray cans and he's gonna paint something on here, Chucky, right? Yeah. Oh. What are you gonna paint? Uh, the picture so you just, uh, ah, that I showed you yesterday. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. man sitting with his dog underneath the palm trees. Okay, nice. And I'm gonna keep these colors, the Rasta colors. Yeah. So we'll see how it turns out. These cans have expired two years ago. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. But like Jamaican style, you do the most with uh, what you got. So I'm gonna try it out. It's gonna be a challenge, but it's gonna be fun. I have to remove the dirt first. Chucky's favorite activity, broom. Yeah. <laughs> some progress since I've been left. Yeah, man. I just went to the shop and got me some stuff. Ah, uh, the grape water. Yeah, man. Looks nice so far, man. Colors are so hard to blend with. No, it's man. not graffiti cans, but it will do.
You like it? Yeah, it looks well good, that does. Yeah? Yeah, man, that looks well good. That's amazing. Yeah, last time I looked, it was usually she's just doing the red bit. La yeah, last time I looked, it was on the green bit. How long? Proof. She fell in love with Jamaican snacks. Yeah, I'm gonna come home fat. This is a chocolate strip. Yeah, it's really Very delicious. Good. I've just tried yeah. it. I wish the camera, I wish you could taste through a camera. <laughs> no, that would be super nice. Come here, here, Michael, and check out oh, Michael and Nala. Yeah. You got a tribute at uh, Chucky's place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Michael. Gonna, I'm gonna fix it up a little, let it dry. Looking good, man. That is amazing. You like it? Yeah, man, I like it. <laughs> it's really, really nice. It's nice to have a nice picture when you come here at Chucky's yeah. yard. Yeah, man. Good job. Really Chucky's nice. Head, Any word, last words? Uh, I don't think so. No? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Famous last words, come on. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> go to Chucky's. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can think of. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's go to the river later, or what do you think? Yeah, definitely. Go to the river, do some swimming. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting a lot warmer now. I think the clouds are going as well, so yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah, man. Let's go. Go to swim. We don't swim. Yeah, man. Go on, good job, it look nice. It's Thanks, man. It no uh, it's not, it's yeah. not finished yet, but I have to wait till it dries a little bit. Okay. It's fix amazing. It up.